Hi everybody, it's Danny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps and I am using one of the gorgeous little bunnies from the Critter Cuties collection. So I do apologise, I didn't realise that my camera wasn't on yet. Um, so I've got the image uh, printed out onto some Expressit blending card and I'm just uh, colouring it using Copic markers. So it won't take me long because obviously I missed most of the colouring but I thought I'll just leave on what was there anyway. So this little gorgeous little bunny is just adorable. I printed out multiples of this image because I wanted to make lots of different cards using different themes. Um, so that's what I've done. So I'm just working my way through colouring all the image up. I'm going to add some white gel pen just to give some little extra details and finishing touches to the image. And then we'll move on and start getting the card together. So I'm just giving it some ground so he's not standing in thin air. And then we'll start blending it all out. Just using my Zero Color Splendor. And some white gel pen. I love this image. It's just adorable. All right, so he's all colored up. Here's a quick photo of him all done. And let's move on to the card process. Okay, so I am using papers from the American Crafts uh, Dear Lizzie Daydreamer paper pen and I am using some um, Case of Craft and some American Crafts cardstock to mat the, pa the patterned papers on. So just trimming all those down to the side on my Caterpillar Pro. Obviously it's too big to keep on camera so I do have it to the side of me. So layering everything up. I'm also going to bring in a doily. It's not a cute card without a doily. And I'm just going to quickly run the image through my Big Shot just using a Lawn Fawn Stitch Circle Die. I always put a little bit of post-it tape on there or uh, masking tape, washi tape, whatever you've got, just in case it moves. I don't want to have to redo it all because it's moved and chopped half my image off. So this is what I've done. So just cutting down a few little bits of scraps from that patterned paper pad. It's not, it's, it's, it's very unlike me to be putting a card together without the image ready, but that's what I've been doing lately. I don't know what's going on. I had a few cards this week that I've actually made the card before I even colored the image up. So I don't know, maybe I'm going bonkers, who knows? All right, just bannering these bits and pieces up using my EK Success Cutter B scissors. And popping that doily in behind. Going to bring in a sentiment from the Tailored Expression Simple Strip Styles. Um, I did um, stamp out a few of these a couple of days ago, so I've got them all sitting on my desk. So hence why I've been using a lot of them lately. So I'm just going to quickly run this uh, Chandra stem from Memory Box through my Big Shot. I'm running it through twice, one with the lavender and one with white. Just to add a little bit of extra color to my image and just to pop him off the card a little bit. So that's those two, just layering them. And then we'll start popping all the card together. So we're just using some Helmer Acid Free Liquid Adhesive to layer all of those together. Making sure that everything's nice and straight, going one layer at a time so I don't lose the way I had everything laid out. Down goes a doily. And then the pattern papers down the side. Now my image, this was a pretty quick card considering um, there's a few layers to it but they were all pretty quick layers so quickly just adding on a little bit of liquid adhesive. Don't go overboard with this liquid adhesive, it's, it's really good adhesive, you don't need much so you don't need to pop a lot of it on your card. Finally adding my sentiment. And then we will cut off all the excess pieces. I'm going to adhere all the center pieces. This is for the inside of the card. 
pop it away my Chandra stem before I lose it. And we just need to find some nice pattern paper for the inside of the card. So I thought this one would be adorable. So I like all those little banners and stuff up the top. I thought that was really cute. So I made sure to cut so that I didn't lose any of those. And we're popping some liquid adhesive on. And then I realized that I actually hadn't done the card base yet. So I need to stick that to the inside of the card, not the front. And then we'll adhere the front of the card on. So like I said, it was a pretty quick card considering all the layers. Um, I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.